Okay, so as a developer, it's super important to stay up to date on the latest tools, whether it be hardware or software in your industry of choice. So this is uh, Mixed Reality News. I'm the only person out here that you can trust. All right, first of all, we should address the Magic Leap demo that seemed to leave everyone pretty underwhelmed. Yeah, so here we can see sort of the iconic moment that the experience is named for. Um, <laughs> so this is like, so there's two things there. There's, there's the dodge, which is if you- Personally, I have a friend that's developed on this and he did say that it's a little bit buggy, but when it works, it works incredibly well. If I had to guess, I would assume that their digital light field technology just doesn't translate that well to video because it wasn't designed for that. It was designed for the whole like, human eye brain pipeline. Now, my friend did say that the coolest part to him was how the Magic Leap could like map the environment in real time, creating a mesh over all the objects and everything. This is similar to what the HoloLens and some other mobile AR SDKs are already doing, like 6D.ai. In the background in real time with your regular smartphone camera, uh, we have some great technology that's building a 3D mesh of the environment around you. Either way, if their product is even half as good as their website is, I'll be pretty impressed. I guess we'll find out soon enough. It's supposed to come out this summer. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we have Leap Motion, which is taking a completely different approach with their AR headset. Their headset is called Project North Star, and they've been putting out amazing demos, and they've completely open sourced the entire thing. So rather than shrouding everything in secrecy, they're completely opening up the whole thing. If we check out their website, you can literally download the plans to build this thing. There are files to be 3D printed, a complete parts list, and electrical schematics. To be real, I think I'm in love with Leap Motion. I just like identify with what they're doing so hard. Not to mention they already have hand tracking on lockdown, which is an area that even Magic Leap seems to be having trouble with. So obviously no one's gonna be wearing Magic Leap's glasses out in public as if they're Google Glass or something like that. So I think what Leap Motion is offering, even though it might be bigger and uglier, if it's cheaper, I would much rather go with that. Not to mention the demos they're putting out lately, they blow Magic Leap stuff out of the water. So if anyone ends up trying to build this Leap Motion headset, I would love to buy some parts from you because I wanna build this thing so badly, but the electronic schematics scare me so much. So in other news, I did see that the latest version of Unreal Engine 4.2 now supports AR Core 1.2 features and AR Kit 2.0 features. So we can get all that good cloud anchor and vertical plane stuff. So let me know in the comments if you guys wanna do something in Unreal Engine. I know literally nothing about it, but I'm not opposed to learning. Now, in the same realm of mobile AR development, Niantic has announced that they're going to release some type of AR SDK to the public. They are calling this their real world platform, and it looks like it makes heavy use of machine learning and object detection for occlusion and for interacting with physical objects from the virtual realm. So you better believe that we will be playing with that on this channel when it comes out. Niantic also showed a demo of real-time multiplayer interaction in AR called Codename Neo. There have been a bunch of similar multiplayer AR demos floating around lately, made possible by the new Cloud Anchor features of AR Kit and AR Core. So maybe we'll play around with some of that stuff in a future video, but I may just wait for a Niantic solution. This is because they claim to be using a new low latency networking approach, so hopefully that functionality will be available in their upcoming development kit. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little news update. Let me know in the comments if it's something you guys wanna see more of. I was thinking maybe we could just kinda of sprinkle them uh, here and there in between tutorials. So on that note, I'm gonna go work on the next video. Goodbye.